Hi guys, welcome back to another little Geeky Reviews. Last week we brought you Forge. This week we will go through Edgen. Okay, so getting Edgin out the box, again, detail-wise, colour detail, absolutely loving it. Chris Pine, the actor, does it, what kind of looks like him. So he could have been a little bit more of the rugged side, but it's kind of like him, I suppose. Um, detail and textures... So he's got all these little buckles there and his outfit. Just opening them up. He comes with this like little tool belt. And he does have a little dagger accessory in there as well. Articulation wise, head bobbles. Let's see, he's got the ball joint on the shoulders. So they do the full 360 as well. Bicep twist. Now he's like Forge that I've done previous. He's got double joints on his elbow. But I've had to warm this one up as well in some hot water. To get that full type of bevel twist. It didn't, um, although it bevel uh, twisted on the forearm. It struggled from the bicep type of things as well. His hands are on a little pivot and ball joint as well which do twist his waist twists and that's on a little like like the masterverse type of figures if they, if you collect them you'll know what I'm on about the thigh double jointed again on the actual knees but from the actual um, shin of it and the boot that is where the other join is now, I've softened it up, believe it or not, but as the plastic has cooled down, so as the plastic has cooled down, that's not going anywhere, and I am not going to force that anymore, but you can just see the groove. So it is on a double joint, but it's not going to go as back as forge. Did. I'm going to have to soak that further. His boot does twist left and right. And he has got ankle ball joints as well. So like I say. He comes with the little dagger accessory on his tool belt. But he comes with a further two accessories. One being that little um, treasure piece type of. I don't even know what you would call this. I can't remember what they called this in the film. So, artifact, I suppose. Um, but yeah, he comes with that. And he also comes with his little... What type of instrument is this? It's like a... It's not a guitar type of thing, is it? But you know what I mean. It comes in a little holder, which will just wrap round... His shoulder, but I'll pop that on him in a minute. But there you go. Is it like a mandolin? Is it? Is that right? Is it a mandolin? So it's all in one flat mould, but it has got some textured detail on there, and it's quite ni nice with the actual paint applications. It's all bobbly on the back there, like reptile type of skin, but it just slides in. And it's got a little hook there to keep it in store. Just flip his arm off and slide it over the both and round his head. Bring that back down, and his little artifacts will just fit in his hand, like so. So he's got them little peg holes on the bottom. And I use these discs like I've shown you in the previous. 
ones of these D&D figures but again just with a bit of hot water and a bit of manipulation he will stand and fit in there and there he is so again let me know your thoughts on this collection drop your comments in while you're there do the usual with the like subscribe and tickle that little bell notification but thanks for checking in on this one and I will see you on the next. Take care.